Hello everybody, my name is May, and today we're going to be talking about gold again. I know I just made a video about this last month, however, since then they changed up kind of how everything works. So now, uh, if you're getting into the game recently, you know that the story mode, the practice mode, has 15 stamina and you get a certain amount of gold. Uh, it used to be 10, so it used to be a little bit better stamina-wise, but I want to tell you guys the most efficient way to get gold after the update. So getting into it a little bit, First, we're going to start off with the fact that you get 610 stamina per day. Uh, we've done the math before on all my other videos. So just know that without buying anything extra from the store, without spending any gems, 610 stamina is the most you can get in a day and without bounties, uh, assuming you don't get any with stamina. Uh, with that said, we're going to go over the worst and we're going to go to the best way to get gold. So starting off with the Sonic Miracle, where we get 3,060 gold for every time you clear the Sonic Miracle on the highest difficulty. It's nine stamina in total. With uh, If you divide the numbers together, you get 205,020 gold uh, per day with only using, uh, yeah, all with using all your stamina. Now, per stamina, that is 336 gold. So 336 gold per stamina. Uh, so for every one, again, for every one stamina, you're getting 336 gold. Um, that's how I like to divide up all of my gold, how you're gonna obtain it. So at the very, very worst place, Sonic Miracle, that's just how it is. Now, uh, going on to the next one, we're actually gonna go to the story mode. Um, so the story mode it uses 15 stamina per attempt and at the highest mode at level 12 purgatory um you're going to be getting 22,000 or 22.9 thousand per attempt now all day that'll get you 916,000 my cat just turned my lights off <laughs> i will fix those in a moment um so you will get 916,000 per day and that is 1,501 gold per stamina. So for every one stamina, you get 1,501. Uh, because it's such a high cost stamina at 15, that's the highest in the game by far. It, yes, it gets you the most XP, but if you're going for gold, there is better ways to do it. I have now turned my lights back on and I'm opening my thing back up. All right chart all right let's talk about the next thing we're going to talk about the ritual now i did the ritual twice i did 15 and 16 showing you uh what you would get if you get golds too and what would you what would you get if you got elite if you're selling every single relic you get to acquire gold now, i know that's not hypothetical but if you're going for gold you need it now <laughs> then that's kind of what i did so basically you get for a ritual uh level 15 which is the highest you can get with gold relics um, or four star relics, I guess. Five star relics, I don't know what they are, hold on. Um, <laughs> so it's 4,100 gold per attempt. It's 10 stamina per attempt. Uh, in total, you would get 248,000 gold every single time. With the relics, if you sold every single relic you get, uh, I don't have the number of how many relics you get, but I will put it somewhere in the video because uh, we just did a video on relics. And if you haven't seen that, go check it out. But yeah, I do know how many relics you get with using 610 stamina. Um, you would get 496,000 from selling all those. And if you combine them all together, uh, well, I'm sorry, that's just for the elites. And then for the gold relics, you would get 250,100. So combining all those together, you'd get 994,100 um, gold, which is 1,629 gold per every stamina that you use. Um, now going to, so going on to the ritual 16, same thing. I'll put the amount of relics that we get somewhere in the video. Um, you will get 8,640 gold per attempt. It is 12 stamina per attempt. Uh, in total, you get 440,640 out of 610 stamina. Um, 
you will get 600,000 in relic gold if you sold every single relic that you get from that. And that would give you a combined total of 1,040,640 gold, which is 1,705 gold per stamina. So just a little bit more than what you would get um, gold per stamina wise than the relic level 15 or the ritual level 15. Now we're going to the next one. The hardest one to explain is Desolate Lands. Desolate Lands is the best way to get gold, okay? However, there are a couple things to it because you don't get the highest amount of gold every time. Sometimes you get items, but luckily I've done all the math for you. So I know almost exactly what you're going to get. So for Desolate Lands, the best you can do is get 28,600 gold. Um, now this is with level SSS. I haven't gotten past SSS, but I am frequently getting SSS. Um, so there might be a higher gold rank. However, I am not sure. I only get to SSS every time, which I feel like is higher than most people get anyways. So bear with me. It is eight stamina per attempt, which is the lowest on our list, lower than even the Sonic Miracle. Um, in total, if you were to get the 28,600 100% of the time, you would get 2,173,600 gold, which is 3,563 gold per every stamina used. That is the best case scenario. Now I'm going to go over the worst, and then I'll tell you what a more realistic way is. The worst you can get is 3.4 gold, 3.4 thousand gold per attempt. Again, it is eight stamina. That would give you a 258,400 gold for the end of your 610 stamina uh it would leave you with 423.6 i did the point because it mattered in this case i don't know why uh gold per stamina so 423 424 we can go with gold per stamina uh which actually is at the bottom of our list but um the reason why i put that is because there is a very 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 small chance that you will get an item on every single attempt an item meaning a Starimon or an Inferno record, not an Inferno record, an Inferno wave booster, um, you know, something out of the ordinary from what you'd normally get um, with just your relic boost and your gold. That's what you would typically get. Sometimes you get Nexus crystals. Sometimes you get um, Experimon. You get kind of a broad range of things, right? Now, with doing uh, 610 stamina's worth of attempts, which I believe was, uh, I don't know. I don't know. the. I was like close. I did close to like 25. Uh, I'm not sure the real number for like in the top of my head right now. But I did um, did all the math and about 68% of the time you will get an item or you will not get an item, which means that you will get the full amount of gold. So I did the math for that. You will get 1,478,048 um gold which is 2423 gold per stamina if you just did desolate lands all day and you got an sss tier i know if you get an s tier it's a little lower and if you get an a tier it's a little lower than that um so mind you it might change a little bit however with almost a 1000 difference between that and the story mode um again the story mode is getting you 1000 501 gold per stamina this is getting you 2423 assuming that you hit that 68 percent on your 610 stamina um desolate lands is definitely the best way to go to get gold so yeah thank you for listening to all my math i appreciate it i do a lot of these videos on making sure you know the best situation possible uh whether it's the highest attack possible which i've done whether it's the highest speed possible which i've done or the most amount of gold you can get. We have plenty more videos to come. If you like it, then please leave a subscribe. That would help me out so much. If you can like it, that would be cool too. You can comment if I missed anything or if you have something to add. Maybe you have an idea that you need somebody like me who has plenty of time on my hands to test these ideas out for you. Leave that comment. I'll do it for you. I promise. So thank you. Have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.